Goals have been something, man, that I've struggled with for a long time. And I used to really beat myself up by not achieving the goals that I was setting out. I'm going to walk you through why I think you should stop setting goals and what you should do instead. Here's something that I've discovered along the way that I think has been really interesting for me. Winners and losers all have the same goal. They're all trying to accomplish the same things. By merely having a goal can't necessarily be the thing that gets people to where they're trying to get to. And I think, and I'll speak for myself on this, most times goals demotivate me. That's just how I'm hardwired. When I try and set this big, monstrous objective goal or thing, consciously in my mind, a couple of things happen. One, I tend to go, God, I don't know if I can pull that off. Two, my mind will start projecting me there, achieving the goal, and then turn off the drive to get there because it already feels like I've accomplished the goal because I projected myself to the end and we're done. Understanding how I was hard hardwired, I had to come up with a different way to set goals that allows me to move forward in a better pace of life and get me to where I want to go. And by shifting my mindset in this regards, I've learned to push myself beyond my typical normal boundaries because I have a direction to go. The first thing I want you to think about is the idea that life is an experiment. And I love this framing because if life is an experiment, we never fail unless we quit. Right? But we find several ways to do something until we finally figure out the right way to do it. It's all an experiment. That was a first mindset that really ha helped me get towards this idea that I should quit setting goals. What I do now instead is I start setting targets. You could argue they're similar in nature, but there's a big difference to what I want to accomplish. I know that someday I want to run a extremely large brand with tons of followers that is impacting people, helping them build the business freedom, helping them scale businesses. And we're on a good trajectory to get there. We're doing really well in that regard. I've got a long way to go and I'm learning it through the process, right? So that's a target, right? That That is something I'm heading at. We know we want to add so many people to our networking groups. We know we want to add so many people to our masterminds. These are all targets. I'm just not putting these definitive deadlines on them. I'm not putting that added pressure of getting those things done. There's a time and place for putting deadlines and pressure on things, right? Having deadlines, having pressure is a absolute asset you cons should consider using in your world. But if, I think if you're trying to think about the big things that you really want to do in life, if you set that big goal, you're subconsciously turning off the drive to get there. Not for everybody. Let me put that caveat on there. Some people, like that 1% of the population, they're, they're over the top crazy ass achievers. Those people are the ones that are just going to figure it out and crush it. For the rest of us, we need to set a target that we're aiming at. And then with, if it's a target, you've got to practice shooting. If life is an experiment, you've got to try different things. Everything we do is moving us towards that target and allows us to ebb and flow and adjust as we need to go. And I've found that the more that I think about this as a target, the direction I want, the thing I want to accomplish, and stay completely fluid in the moments of going through there, I've found a lot more success getting there than anything else I've ever done. And that's allowed me to, to build myself, work on myself, and grow and go further. It's the idea of shifting from pressure, which comes from this negative kind of thought process, and I'm not a woo-woo dude, but that pressure of I've got to get to X by a certain X is healthy when you need to accomplish short tasks. Oftentimes, when you're trying to do these big monstrosity things, that pressure will burn you out on the way to get there because you'll worry too much about that final outcome versus the journey along the way, which destroys why do this in the first place. What I found, and it was continuing to work for me, is think about life as an experiment, 
and then think specifically about what target should I be setting so I know where I'm heading. And I didn't mean to rhyme there, but I rhymed. So it happens. So, so think about it from that perspective. Watch how much more momentum you get by heading towards targets. Let me know how it works for you. And make sure you subscribe below. It mean the world to me as I continue to build out this channel and introduce my thoughts, theories to the world. It just helps me out a, a lot. So make sure you subscribe below and share this out with somebody. Comment with your thoughts and takeaways. If you disagree with me on all of this, please let me know. I, I'm happy for that too. So appreciate you as always, guys. Love you, mean it. See you, bye.